Hey there, Edema here from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour Hollywood. We hope you're doing well. We miss seeing you on the lot and we can't wait to welcome you back. This week we have a special treat for you. We're taking a look inside the Warner Brothers Corporate Archive. The archive is not open to the public, nor is it a part of the studio tour, so we are so grateful to gain special access to this rarely seen backstage area. We work closely with the archive to develop our tour experience, so take a look and learn a little more about this special part of Warner Brothers Studios. Take it away, John. Okay, everyone, we're here in the Warner Brothers corporate archive with the fantastic Bonnie. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Can you tell us about this space? What goes on here? Well, this is an incredible building. It started in around 1992, and the Warner Brothers corporate archive, we save all of the hero used props costumes, I mean, the good stuff. And right now, we have over a quarter of a million assets here. What is this? I, I think I know what this is. Mm -hmm. This big, beautiful contraption looks kind of like a time machine. That's exactly what it is. What time machine was this from? I want to say the Guy Pierce film, The Time Machine. There you go, 2002. Amazing. And take a look at this too, John. Okay, this actually moves. It's, it's moving here and in the back. Yep, exactly. It's unbelievable, isn't it? I'm a huge fan of the Matrix franchise and like I already, mm -hmm. which, which Matrix are they from? This is from Matrix Revolution. Oh and man. And these are what they called APUs, artillery personal units. Right, you'd have the, the driver sitting in the chair. Exactly. And they would be operating mm -hmm. the big robot arms. Yeah, exactly. How cool. Mm -hmm. And it's it's amazing to see how much of it is is practical, how much of it was was really built. Exactly, yeah. That's, mm -hmm. that's amazing. But they're just amazing props, too. When right. you see that the design and all of the man hours that went into creating something like that, it's unbelievable. It's, it's a, a real work of art. Mm -hmm. Cars are always cool. We've got cars at the studio tour now, but yeah. specifically, they're always, you know, they're bat themed with Batmobiles throughout uh, the various movies. But here, it's beyond Batman. You've got cars from The Great Gatsby. Yeah, we do. This is the Auburn from The Great Gatsby. This is beautiful. And it's a beautiful, beautiful car. And the other thing too, if people don't know, they all run. These are drivable. Arthur, Russell Brand? Russell Brand, mm-hmm. And this is, you're saying that this is still a, a fully functioning Rolls Royce? Absolutely. Scooby! And, I mean, come on, the mystery machine? The mystery machine? The mystery machine, I know. And it's, if I mean, if you can see inside, it's got the gadgets, it's got all the bells and whistles. This is the coolest thing. There are a lot of Rolls Royces in the world. There's, there's a lot of those. There is only <laughs> one of this car right here. That is absolutely correct. <laughs> This is the most like custom made car ever. It is, right? uh, yeah. I mean, it's it's like this is from vacation, and I mean, if even if you wanted to take a walk around it, I mean, it's the same on both sides. It's two fronts, it, it's right? It's two fronts. Mm -hmm. Thanks, John. We hope you enjoyed that. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Tune in next week for part two. And we do remain temporarily closed, but stay connected with us here or our website, wbstudiotour.com for the latest updates. Bye for now.